this is early morning in Balmain this is where people heading Victoria Street and see traffic's been jammed The urgent need to decarbonise Sydney's transport has been dealt a blow that will take generations to recover from. The architects of Westconnex and this Roselle interchange behind me knew full well what they were doing. Their own transport modelling showed that traffic was going to get worse, not better. And the fact that activists and experts were pointing this out to them for many years before com construction commenced shows just how corrupt the entire process was. Tweaking some lane mergers won't achieve anything, but arresting the crooks who foisted this toll mania scam upon Sydney will go a long way to deterring anybody from trying this kind of thing in the future. A royal commission into the decisions made on transport by the Barry O'Farrell government in 2011 would be a very good start. From now on, the only thing that will have any chance of tackling these local and global problems will be a huge shift to public and active transport.